Hello everyone. So unless you have been living under a rock this past year, I am sure you are aware of the incredible progress in generative AI in recent months. The developments in image diffusion models and GPT AIs have been particularly remarkable. In fact, there is a palpable frenzy in the AI world at the moment, as major tech companies vie to become the leading authority in the space. In this video, I want to focus on chat AIs and on OpenAI's ChatGPT specifically. We will leave the topic of generative image AIs for another video. In particular, we will be discussing opportunities that arise from combining ChatGPT with a 3D game engine. We will be focusing on Unity in this case, since this is what I'm familiar with, but the creative possibilities apply to any modern game engine. So what is a GPT? Here's a very quick summary. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. A GPT is an AI model that has been trained on a massive amount of text from the internet, so it can understand and generate language in a human-like manner. It can answer questions, write essays, translate languages, and even hold a conversation. In fact, this is what ChatGPT has been set up to do. A GPT works by analyzing patterns and context in the text it has learned from, allowing it to generate coherent and relevant responses. If you would like to know how GPTs work under the hood, then I can recommend this great video by Jay Alamnar. Link in the description. Now, let's explore a few projects that demonstrate the exciting possibilities that open up when integrating ChatGPT with Unity. The first project that I would like to highlight is a little prototype by Unity employee, Keijiro Takahashi. Bear in mind that this is just a quick proof of concept integration of ChatGPT into the Unity editor. What it does is allow you to control the editor using natural language prompts. You can grab a copy of Keijiro's prototype, called AI Command, from his GitHub page. Link in the description. Anyway, I will quickly demo the AI Command project, so you can see what it does. First, you simply open up this AI Command window and give it a prompt. The command window opens with a suggested prompt, so let's go with that. It should create 100 cubes at random points. Behind the scenes, Unity is now communicating with OpenAI's GPT API. It sends the prompt and awaits the relevant C-sharp code to be returned. This code is executed by the Unity editor, which then creates our cubes. Let's try a few more prompts. I'm gonna try, create a blue capsule and a yellow sphere to the right of the capsule. Okay, now let's try, rotate the cubes randomly. You can see that we don't always get the result we desire. Here, all of the objects have been rotated and not just the cubes. Things are still a bit buggy and ChatGPT does not always send the correct code. Remember, this is just a prototype. Okay, let's see if we can get a red directional light. Now let's try the prompt, add rigid body components to the cube objects. We can see that this has indeed worked. Now, I'm going to use a prompt to add a camera to the scene. And here's our new camera. Finally, this is overkill but we can even use an AI command prompt to play the scene. Okay, so I think you get the idea. I will probably do a more in-depth video on AI command at a later date and take a look at how it works under the hood. In any case, it appears that Unity recognized the potential in this prototype as they are working on an official in-editor command prompt AI that utilizes the concept. One of the most obvious applications of ChatGPT in gaming and simulations would be in the real-time generation of dialogue for non-player characters. We will now take a look at some projects that are doing interesting things in this space. First of all, I would like to highlight some recent work by Torre Nabe, a Unity developer specializing in VR. I particularly liked his ChatGPT-driven AI therapist, which he demos on his YouTube channel. This Unity-based VR experience lets you talk to the ChatGPT therapist using your voice via OpenAI's Whisper speech recognition system the therapist's voice is generated by Eleven Lab's speech synthesis service. Let's listen to a small part of the conversation. So, I was wondering, do you have any suggestions, any advice how, can I, how I can become more natural and more relaxed while recording? It's totally okay to feel nervous when starting something new, especially with the added pressure when receiving negative feedback. It sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to perform perfectly. Let's work on shifting that perspective to focus on the learning process and improving with each video. Think of it as practice 
rather than performance. If you'd like to take a closer look at this, or Tori's other chat GPT experiments, I've dropped a link to his YouTube channel below. Has the talk about chat GPT driven NPCs given you the urge to try them out for yourself? If so, the next project will help you get started. It's a Unity package called OpenAI Unity, and it's freely available on GitHub. Link in the description. The package helps you use the OpenAI API directly in Unity, and it can be used to create the kind of NPC interactions seen in the previous project. It's by Sirkin Altundas, who also developed the Ready Player Me avatar platform. I recommend going to his YouTube channel. Here you will find tutorials where Sirkin shows you how to use his OpenAI Unity package to create chat GPT-driven NPCs. His demos also make use of his Ready Player Me avatars, which you may also find useful in your own creations. Okay, that's all for now. I hope this video has helped spark your imagination about the possibilities that emerge when combining ChatGPT with Unity. I will be covering more AI projects and tools in the future, at least those that are relevant to the development of virtual worlds. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.